Good day everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to fix if you get an error message saying that this app is preventing shutdown in your Windows. Now, there might be an instance where you're working on a file or on a program and you have to shut down the machine. And when you try to shut down the machine, you would get a message saying that this app is preventing the shutdown or something like this. There are a couple of steps which you can try to get this issue resolved or eliminate this error message. Now, the first step of what I would recommend you to do is fix the issue by modifying the account settings now to do this you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on settings once you're on the settings page you will have to go ahead and click on accounts on the left hand side once you click on account scroll down till you find sign in option under sign in option you will have to scroll down a bit and look for the option which says use my sign in info to automatically finish setting up after an update. Make sure this has been turned off. Now, at any point, if this has been enabled, make sure it has been disabled and then try to shut down the computer. So in case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't have to try the next step. Now, the next step is to disable the fast setup on your computer. Now, to do this, uh, you will have to open run window. In the run window, you may go ahead and type, you can do a right click on the start button and click on run. In the run window, you may go ahead and type powercfg.cpl and then click on OK. Once you click on OK, it will take you to the uh, customization of the power plan window. Under this section, you will have to go ahead and choose the option which says choose what power buttons do. Click on it. Under this section, make sure turn on fast setup is being disabled on the computer. And again, it depends on what power plants you are in. Now, in your case, uh, so you will have to make sure the turn on fast startup option is been disabled. Once you uncheck the box, click on save changes, close this window and then try to restart the computer and see if you get this error message. Now, in case if you if you don't get the error message, uh, you don't have to worry the next step. Now, in spite of trying all this step, and if you're still facing a problem, the next step is to uh, fix the error message using the registry editor. Now, to do this, you will have to open registry editor. So you can do a right click and then click on run. In the run window, you may go ahead and type reg edit and then click on OK. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Now, once you have, once you are on the registry editor, make sure you are on this structure in the registry editor, so that uh, you can click on this arrow and collapse the different hierarchy in the registry editor. So make sure you have this structure, five different registry folders displayed on the uh, registry editor. Now, under this, you will have to expand HKey local machine. Under HKey local machine, you will have to look for system. Under system locate for current control set so it would be right here it would be in alphabetical order under current control set look for control so click on control under control use the under the way to kill look for the uh, sub registry which says way to kill service timeout under this make sure the value is being set to uh, 500 or less so in my case currently it has been set to 5000 so what you can do is uh, to change the value you will have to double click on it and make sure the value has been set to 500 or less so um, for the demonstration I will set it to 450 or maybe less than that and click on ok so basically you are setting a timeout uh, service to kill the service and click on ok once you click on ok Try to restart the computer and check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't have to try the next step. Now, the next step is to uh, apply another registry solution, which is the second registry solution. So to, uh, for the next step, you will have to open registry editor, just like the way how we opened the registry editor earlier. So do a right click on the start button and click on run. In the run window, go ahead and type reg edit. Click on yes in case if you get a user access control prompt. Now um, you may go ahead and click on this arrow to collapse the registry keys and uh, take you back to the actual view of the registry editor. Under this locate for hkey current user. So expand hkey current user by clicking on this arrow and then click on 
or locate for control panel under control panel look for desktop so what you can do here is you can do a right click on the desktop here so select desktop and do a right click once you click on right click click on new and uh, choose the value which says string value under the string value make sure you go ahead and type the uh, name or rename this string value to auto and task I will also mention this text uh, in the video description and also uh, I'll add it in the display on the screen so click on uh, make sure the string value has been renamed to auto end task and double click on it make sure the value data has been set to one and then click on OK once it is done you may go ahead and close the registry editor restart your computer and that should fix the problem now in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem I would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that I can come up with a possible solution. I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.